Pierre, I, I can't. I can't. I can't take the suit. You will need it too. I, I, I don't feel right. Stay with me. see it now. We were all so entertained. We didn't see what was getting ready in the shadow. No, leave them alone. Looks like scientific documents, but I can't decipher what's written. dust settles on your sport trophies, it doesn't mean you are getting younger. I miss listening to Pierre. He always used crazy effects on his guitar. Pierre's tape collection. Insomnia will be a nice excuse to put it in order. Might even find some of the music he made for me. I could use the comforting. You come with me, my friend. It would get lonely without you. One, two. One, two. That works? Okay. Damn machine. Uh, I'm finally starting to understand what's going on here with the electricity. A priori, everything revolves around the lighthouse. I consulted many old newspapers, and the Village Gazette told me that St. Exo was very poorly served by electricity, and regularly suffered severe power cuts. At least I know I can always find the things I leave in here. I knew that it was a very isolated village, which is what makes it so charming, but I hadn't thought of that. Half of the articles in the Gazette are devoted to the inhabitants who, tired of the cuts, ended up installing small wind turbines for their homes. Another undeniable friend. It would be easy to get lost without it. The other half is about the lighthouse, and that's where it gets interesting. I read that the mayor of the village had installed underwater turbines connected to the building, which are capable of producing electricity thanks to the movement of the sea. This has enabled the village to gain autonomy and to overcome the failures of the general electrical network. Oh. Forgot I found this old journal around town yesterday. Apparently they installed a secondary generator in the old lighthouse years ago. The extra current could help me out in my search with the other inhabitants. Let's check it out today. I think it would be worth going to take a look at the lighthouse. Because if the turbine system is damaged, it could explain- I can't believe we moved with all these books. The worst part is, we most likely have doubles. Some electrical equipment is out of order, while others are still working. I'll tell you what I- I left my gun in the shanty yesterday. 
Time to get it back. Found. Without you, I wouldn't stand a second out there. Last time was very close. I need to keep up with my training. Time to shoot some cans. Let's start with the red one. Or the yellow one. Nah, the blue one. Definitely the blue one. Here to go. And the last one. Now, let's warm up for some dodging. Okay, I'm ready. Now! Better be faster. Now, repel training. Next time, you will think twice about getting in my I'm glad this thing recharges during the night. The former owner had to do a lot of tinkering to screw up such a mess. It's probably dry now. You feel. This watch creeps me out. I better be home before the night. Nah, nothing of interest in these cars. La Vieja Chaloupe. Fresh fish straight from the port. I sure hope the products are fresher than this poster. Left, the white manor and the lighthouse. Thomas Levins. Fixing pipes is alright. When things get back to normal, you'll have plenty to do, my friend. again. At the edge of this cliff stands the famous flower house of St. Axel. It was given by its owner to the village, which still contributes, still inhabited. The building is regularly open for heritage events. In a different scenario, I would have stayed here for hours with a book. You have to admit, the view is quite nice. Left, the white manor and the lighthouse. Right, St. Exel. The lighthouse! I'm getting closer. When you care for plants, Time flies. I wish it was that simple. Attention, following the latest storms, the coastal path is damaged. Certain trees mar These can fall due to the slightest gust of wind. The village really isn't investing in its infrastructure, and storms make it even more problematic. This tree was marked to be felled. It could make a nice bridge. 
It's hurt, but that won't be enough. A storm could help. It doesn't seem to have awakened them. Coelocybe phosphorus. With its lightning growth capacity, it is able to grow in a single day. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I should gather some of these. Hmm. <laughs> Hope the police will not catch me with these shrooms. I can still picture the fishermen landing their daily catch of crabs and fish. Le scale. Available in all grocery stores. I hate this drink. Ugh, too bad I don't have change for these tourist traps. This buoy clearly defines what St. Exel is. A small, isolated fishing village where time seems slowed down or even frozen. A usually calm place where the haunting sound of the waves punctuates your day. Happy to see some boats were spared by these mad cultists. Left, Point du Mal, right. St. Exel's village. Straight ahead, Lichran. You are facing the lighthouse named Lichran. The lighthouse was built in 1835, a veritable directional beacon for the sailors of the coast of St. Exel. It is only in 1988 that Lichran was put in service again, welcoming a hydraulic generator that supplies the village. It's like someone just came for this incredible spectacle and forgot his bicycle. But these things were not here before the attack. Apparently multiple people were working here. Access to the top of the lighthouse is condemned. Oh, friend. Why did you have to be so grim? Because of recent events, uh, while we wait to receive more, in the meantime, don't hesitate to use the same one on different gates. A bit unexpected for a lighthouse. These cables go all the way to the ceiling. They pushed everything to the side to make room for something else. Nothing. Looks like a lot of security for simple maintenance equipment. Doors behind me. The valve is missing here. This panel seems to monitor that only the first one appears to be working correctly. Local police apparently suspect the cult has started kidnapping people. It is indeed curious so many people would disappear. Their last ritual site is located near the lighthouse, at the Pointe des Mal. Might be worth checking out. Someone left 
left a note for his co-workers. Franck is so fed up that we keep forgetting his birthday, that he has set the day and the month as the padlock code. Can someone change that back to the inauguration? So, what is your code, Frank? Watchtower schedule and the entire workforce is listed on the board. Could anyone pick up Frank's shifts for the upcoming weeks? Nicholas system? That's probably where the town's additional current is monitored. Hmm. It's a bit much for just a common lighthouse. I can probably restart the system from here. Once the pressure is fixed. space for these machines? They do not seem to belong. Good thing nobody can find them here. The documents on this desk look much more confidential than the previous ones. This place appears to be a government cell dedicated to recording underwater sound activity off the village. And this has been going on for a while. But I don't see what they're trying to find. They appear to be studying something at the bottom of the sea that is moving at precise coordinates. On April 17th, 1991, they recorded a signal which they define as organic. The signal was recorded on a cassette to be sent urgently to the DGSE because this would jeopardize the military security of the country. One of the lighthouse maintenance staff apparently stole the tape? They quickly managed to identify him and where he lives. Wait, th this, this is my house! Put on some music.
to fix these colored cables in the right order. Despite the mess the protesters left behind, they love leaving these tape. Listen to us. Maybe I should listen to it. Franck, the 19th of March, 1967. This is one of the places of contemplation. It was vandalized just before everything went down. Only one destination for you, my bag. I can still smell the perfume of stamps and papers, but no one will come to pick up the mail tonight. The soldiers were perfectly organized and cut off all access. We had almost like sheep in the dark. Long time no see at Boisseau's Park. Ahead, the beach and Assumption's Church. Right, viewpoint. The people of St. Exel suffered so much in recent years. It's moving to see that they tried their best to maintain the festivals and other traditions. Nothing. Let's take a walk, just you and me.
could not finish fixing this fence because the damn bird stole my man's key. I have been trying to get them back. If you manage to get my keys back, please call me at the number written on my truck, Mr. Levins. I feel that the wind turbine is going to need a little help from me to launch. Sweet! It was enough to start the turbine! Park mausoleums were not spared. They are a real scourge for this village. There's a thieving crow's nest as expected, but it will only leave its nest if it appears safe to do so. Amongst birds living in the park, you will find the Corvus Picatrix. They keep their precious loot inside their beak. To prevent such situations, scarecrows were installed by local farmers. That will teach you to look at me sideways. Solve this puzzle and win a coin to use in George workshop. Take that! Fourth day that I'm stuck. Minus the birdie should feel free to leave its nest now. Now I need to attract it. I'm not gonna make it here. They terrify me. I don't know what to do. They hunt me like an animal. They have taken on a human form, but there is nothing human about them. They come out of nowhere without you expecting it and materialize in a kind of huh? it's less. elusive black vapor. I can't do anything against them. I don't know how to fight them. I found a weapon, but I'm, I'm struggling to use it, and I'm, I'm always out of bullets. There. We told you stealing was bad. Only one destination for you, my bag. There's even more of them right now. I only need to find the truck. They swarm like cockroaches. I have to shut myself up at home as soon as night falls. And they prevent me from leaving this cursed village, Pierre. As soon as I try to leave St. Exel, they arrive by the thousands and they, they get me. If they catch me, I wake up in my bed and it's been hours, maybe even a whole day. I'm their prisoner. I loved that statue. Well, before the cult vandalized it. Probably not an organized person. He left a client. Hello, Mr. Liver. Completely locked. And I am calling you because I have, again, a problem with the digital code that you installed last year. As I can't see very well at night, I asked you to make each key sound different. But for a few days when I entered the co- I'm gonna need you. you gave this tablecloth. It makes me think of breakfast. I swear I've eaten on the same one. Two keys no longer make noise. Listen! Could you-
would you contact me when you get my message? This is becoming a real problem for me. where we first met, isn't it? I can't believe you made a song about it, Pierre. Nothing in the veins but Chardonnay. idea where I am, but this place is incredible. This is exactly where Pierre gave me one of his concerts. I would love to relive this moment again. I'm going to need something to break those. This door can be unlocked from the other side. You, you like me, we should hang. I have already seen this kind of setup. No way they could have been there before?
Planks removed. This should weaken this son of a brick. We both knew you couldn't resist me. Push it now. Now the system should be unlocked. Remember this moment in my living room? We were both watching a documentary on TV when we discovered St. Exel. We only dreamed of one thing, to live by the sea and change our lives. completely locked. Stay on the floor. They really wanted to prevent us from following them. They put it beyond repair during their escape. Thank 
on se l'a mis. I would like to tell you about the bracelet you gave me right after we arrived here. You found that gem on the beach and crafted it into this beautiful piece of jewelry. You told me that you felt that this pebble had something special, that it radiated. Well, you were right, you know. He protects me from the monsters I told you about. If I smack it against the ground, it produces a shock wave that violently repels ghosts. Sometimes, he can even dissolve them when they attack me. He is so strong that I decided to name him Rocky, since it's a rock. <clears throat> but I am the repairman in charge of fixing this gate. I've linked it to one of the small wind generators we have in the village. Only issue is that while I was fixing it, one of those freaking birds stole the key from my van. If you find them, please bring them to my office. Mr. Levens. He's also a sensitive guy, you know? He doesn't like explosive noises. If I shoot a gun in his ear, he can even start a thunderstorm. At that moment, I, I feel transported to another reality, to another time. Once calm returns, I have the impression that it only- The beach. The gas! Lasted a few seconds, whereas about 15 minutes had actually passed. Better to use it sparingly. Sometimes... Sometimes... I think I found the antenna. Sometimes I feel like he's almost alive. He gets... Nothing. Behind. Easy. Left. Ahead. Restaurant Panier a Crabe. Especially if I made him work a lot. But... Hey, nothing a good night's sleep can't fix. Anyway, all that to say that he reminds me a bit of you. It's probably silly, but I... The keys were a place of the particularly intense fit following the drop in activity. This fishing port was... Con it is always possible at low tide to find fishing traps with shellfish in them. I feel like you're watching over me through him. And that helps me hold on. Perfect. This gas pump is probably older than me. Afraid of no boat anymore, are you? You are the one I'm looking for. Daily menu, mackerel in white wine or mussels marinare. Fisherman's menu, mm, sounds better than it tastes. Exhibition of original moonstone furniture. Let me guess, you want me to serve you a refreshing perfection, is that it? completely locked. I am a living experiment on sugar.
we all had these experiences at least once. You come across a restaurant. Outwardly, it seems unpretentious and quite shabby, but the cuisine is in fact exceptional. Well, this restaurant wasn't one of them. The food there was atrocious. A note from the local fishermen about seagulls. Obviously, they spent their time stealing the shellfish from traps. There is a lot of other information that could be useful to me. I'll write that down. If only the kitchen lived up to the view. Pierre really wanted us to eat here. I would give anything to have these moments with him now. They left a message. F for me? Hmm. I'm going to be curious. Honey, it's me. I did something stupid. Again. I am going to need a key for this one. I dropped the key to the restaurant in the gutter in front of the post office, and I can't get it back. I know you have a lot of work with the ending exhibition, but as soon as it's over, can you open to Artisan with the double? When the new owner bought the restaurant from the famous craftsman George, they decided to keep the moonstone furniture from his personal collection. This stone is very sensitive to light, and shines brightly when exposed to daylight. I don't understand why so many people are uh, attracted by a stupid secretary that unlocks with the help of light. That's what was making all the noise upstairs. Why is this furniture moving by itself? Am I going crazy? Our superb cooking skills should be enough for them. In any case, before they start their work, don't forget to store our most important items in this secretary. We'll just have to remember to put them away before reopening the exhibition. And most importantly, don't forget to put inside what the Doro gave us to access their garden. Sorry to be your super mega burden. Love ya. Light has touched the secretaire. It's probably unlocked now. Dero's house key. That's a big one. Probably a gauge or something nearby. I can feel the humidity on this floor. It's no longer watertight. Explains the closure for renovation of the restaurant. Luckily, some light seeps through these boards, so I can see something. Too professionally closed, the way I like them. What happens if I remove the circuit breaker?
into an ice block if I stay like that. I need to get warmer clothes with the house. Fast. No storm will be able to bring down such an antenna. It's like we instantly changed the season. But not for the better. I really need to get back home. the door because of the snow. Not listen to this nonsense. Our actions are dedicated to all of you. Once the day comes, those who denied will finally see the truth with their eyes. The distance. I've never seen St. Exo under this amount of snow. Find the positives, Elise. That's good. Shall all be remembered. You are all invited to our next ceremony. This Friday, join us in the writing of birthdays from the departed folk. Let's put the world to rights. It's the only way- Now that the town's current is better, I can access the house's attic again. Hey, now. I left my clothes in one of the cabinets in the hall. I knew I had you somewhere. I am a living experiment on sugar. If I get you back, I'll let you have the remote. I promise. Brand new. And a superb tool to stay busy. It's locked. After each storm, all free heating. to keep some rituals. Dear Toothpaste, you are breathtaking. I could use a good shower when this feeling of being observed will stop. Looks like some of Pierre's homemade music for me. I thought it was lost since the moving in. I love that music. Nothing. Full repaint of the arcade. I know you love it for real, Pierre, but we are gonna need to have a discussion about it. Calmly. My lava lamp, I love it. Pierre probably hid it here, out of reach. Poor guy never understood anything about home decor. Let's put on some music. Wanna be alone. 
Still in the air. This suit. I was in the attic with him when everybody disappeared. I remember wearing it, but we just had one. Honey, I finally finished my restoration project for this arcade machine, and I've got a challenge for you. I know you love a good one, so try to beat my best score. You will win something I'm sure will bring back good memories. Here. You always know how to surprise me. My 
life turned into an item. Round and round we go, stuck at the same track. It's so dusty here. I could use a vacuum to clean the vacuum. I could attach this laser to my gun, see if that makes me more precise. You feel. Almost never set foot in here. There's gotta be something. Wow, a projector. I thought I would forget its existence with my school years. What is it doing down here? Nothing. this was under the house. What was he doing here? Wait, isn't it exactly the same gem I have attached on my bracelet? Where did he find it? He was apparently willing to ship it to be analyzed? Let's shed some light on this. If you're listening to this, you are probably the person sent by the office to continue my investigation. Well, at least I hope. My name is Matthew Banks, and I started this work about a year ago. As stated in my previous reports, I infiltrated the lighthouse last month, but they just found out that a tape was missing, and I think they're on to me now. I used to copy, uh, borrow tapes during the night, but this time they noticed before I could bring them back. I didn't have time to use the new filtering machine, but I left the tape inside it. I hope it's safe there with you. Since I have to leave, I prepared the way for you and I have regrouped all of my ongoing work onto three different boards, each including a guiding tape. The first one gathers my studies on the audio signal coming from the oceanic floor which was the reason our interest was piqued by St. Exel in the first place. The second board will give you more details on the local cult, whose believers call themselves the Devoted. The third board is about Operation White Medusa, 
which is probably why you're here now. We are now definitely forced to recognize that the village of St. Exel is the center of great political and scientific interest, as we first suspected. I hate to leave like this, but I'm afraid my time has come. During the last two weeks, the lighthouse had trouble acquiring new information from ashore. Apparently, some kind of technology has been jamming their signal. Is there some kind of expert trying to hack the operation? I'll leave it to you to find out. Passports? Money from different countries? This man was not your usual anybody. Oh. And there's also boat tickets to leave for Plymouth, England. He was planning on leaving, just wasn't sure when. What is this folder? Your next objective? I'll study that during the night. A bit of reading always helps. In 1977, an ultra-low frequency sound was picked up by scientists south of the Atlantic Ocean. But no one succeeded in identifying the structural composition of this acoustic phenomenon, and in many the in many areas, the life in St. Exel has deteriorated sharply in recent years. Local studies tend to show that nature has adopted Infiltrating the cell in the heart of the lighthouse made me realize that the French government is very concerned about the development of the situation here in St. Exel. Submarine? In danger? What was the lighthouse doing? still echoes in my head. I need to know more. Let's find that antenna on the village beach. This tape recorder is helpful during late nights. Don't judge me, Pierre. It's my only way to hear a human voice now. I finished reading the documents Matthew Banks had left for his replacement. Who never came? Matthew apparently needed to join the lighthouse maintenance team to gain access to the Rohrqual cell. To achieve this, he was forced to make a deal. 
The sect could help him get hired quickly, but completely locked. But in exchange, Matthew would have to pass on the information obtained once there. He didn't know why the cult was interested in all this, but he needed them, so he agreed in order to continue his investigation. Matthew knew that the Rourke Wall cell used a specific radio frequency to communicate with the outside. Just before his departure, he discovered that the cell could no longer connect to this very frequency. That circuit breaker inside the antenna. The cult was stealing them. They probably had tons of them. I'm sure it was what was blocking the submarine's communication. The sect seems to know more than what Matthew imagined. He thought the devotees met at the Assumption Church. I will try my luck there. The radio worked well, but the signal of this wave was scrambled, which prevented transmissions. It looked like sabotage, but who was behind it all? A member of the lighthouse team? Another spy? Only one thing was clear to him. If someone had wanted to disturb the signal, he would have gone through the big antenna of St. Exel. I have already seen it when it happens. Double bad luck for you. The other manhole is open. I'm going to push that plank. We spotted it in the past. It is on the keys towards the beach. I just have to go there. is the key. mechanism seems to be stuck because of the low temperature. An anti-cult movement sticker. I'll speak out against you. This sect seems to have been terrorizing the people of St. Exel for too long. This bridge could do with a nudge. Snow and rain? Not a good mix. Good luck with this puzzle.
It would be funny if this table said interesting things at times, wouldn't it? Floating pontoon follows the movement of the tide. You are in front of the ingenious fisherman's gate. The gate is now only used to close at the press of a button. Act this gate has the particularity of being self-powered and only works during low tide. It's not working. It must be missing some part. was removed here. Another mission for at least the fixer. It's completely surreal to see the submarine here. Only one destination for you, my back. I'm gonna need you. I saw the submarine on a board in my basement. It is the French submarine of the Rorqual service, which it arrived on this beach completely destroyed. Why? Let's take a walk, just you and me. The submarine was tracking something. Did this thing attack it? Something else could be residing at the bottom of the sea? Another submarine? If ever the washing machine breaks down, I know where Pierre can do my laundry. Shrimp fishing guide. A fisherman must have forgotten that here. Some of these tips could be useful. The keys were built by the Duro family. Their house can be found at the end of them. To facilitate the management of water from the White Manor, a path leading to it has also been developed. I might need you.
Now that I have the key, I will finally find out what is hiding behind this restaurant. I'm sure it's this giant blue rock under the house that must be responsible for our bubble that protects and keeps monsters away from our home. The crate of rocks came with a bunch of analysis papers that probably had to be shipped with the set. I don't understand all this paperwork. These docks look different. This side must be less frequented by tourists. But these rocks seem to have totally unexpected properties. The sect has already been there. They were really harassing people wherever they were. They didn't forget to leave their little gifts everywhere. I don't know if there is any connection between the monsters and this rock, and why it would have an effect on them and not me. This is a sea organ. It turns waves into music. That's poetic. Let's take a walk, just you and me. Nothing. You'll figure this one out easily, I hope. May the force be with you. St. Exel. Following on the storm warning, fishermen's lockers need to be emptied earlier this year. Please get your number plates back on the board and revert your lockers codes to their initial values. P.S. In case you forgot, the initial code is your number plate number. Two of the lockers were not emptied, so I need to find two boat number plates out there. And with a bit of luck, the fishermen didn't change the code.
Ben, moi je t'aime. Since I deactivated the jammer on the keys of St. Exel, the fountains react sort of like portals, allowing me to see the village under the snow, as if I was switching over several months later and rediscovering everything in another season. When I approach Rocky from the fountain, the water gradually begins to light up. If the pebble comes into contact, everything changes immediately. I can literally change the weather in St. Exel on command. I read somewhere that the fountains were built a very long time ago, and that their source is the same groundwater deep under the village. That doesn't explain to me why it does that. But I prefer to warn you. Do you think there would be the same type of rock under the village directly? The only downside to all this is that triggering the storm using the rock doesn't work if it's snowing. And, well, it's super cold too. a cog was removed here. Another mission for Elise the Fixer. boat has a number plate. No use for you now. Church is close now. Tree cycle. Elise, if you don't understand what's in front of you, it probably means you are facing modern art. Nothing. Tu es mon seul ami. Museum entrance. Okay, now I'm intrigued. Left, Boisseau's Park. Behind, the beach. Right, Assumption's Church.
George seems to have a particular skill for turning anything into... art? wake up in this dusty, tunnel-shaped cave. It is essentially made up of some kind of light-absorbing rocks. We both knew you couldn't resist me. Like the ones the insides of a planet would create. I go through this hallway and come across the ghosts that haunt me. But this time they don't try to catch me. There are also military and scientific equipment. I can't tell if they are studying or planning to attack something. A sheet of heavy smoke waits for me at the end, and it's too thick to see behind, and I'm attracted like a moth is to light. The closer I get to the- I should keep an eye on the time. But the more I hear ringing, until I realize it's my alarm, and I wake up like nothing happened, and at the same exact hour as usual, 8 a.m. If somebody finds this journal, <laughs> Gone nuts, apparently. I don't have enough of this ammo. <laughs> Do what you want with that information, or shove it somewhere warm. I don't see much. Let's walk with caution. Let's try to push it now. Now the system should be unlocked. George! I wanted to reactivate it. In the meantime, the museum will remain in the dark. Welcoming. Special event. Nico the Robot. Don't be afraid of the future. Seven puzzles scattered throughout St. X Small and Big- There's even a tape! Welcome to my very own Jaws workshop. With the participation of the municipality of Saint-Exil, we are organizing a great treasure hunt for youngs and less youngs. May the force be with you. Seven of my famous puzzle tables are hidden at different locations in the village. If you succeed in solving one, you will win a token. No puzzle can resist me. Don't share the answer with the others. The first to get all the village tokens... This is where I have to put the tokens. ...tokens will have an incredible prize. Nico the robot is there to receive your tokens and reward you accordingly for each piece. Don't forget, there is only one rule to complete my trademarked Jaws table. Put the magnetic ball through the metal hoop. Good luck and I hope to see you all very soon with Nico the robot. Not suitable? I want a piece of paper with a joke. Do you know who burned the Sistine Chapel years ago? Machelangelo. I swear to God. Children under four years old play with moderation. I don't have enough of this ammo. Nineteen ninety. Always up to new challenges. Facing the power supply issues of Saint Exel, George electrically autonomized his museum. No token. No price. No 
token, no price. So, the wind turbines providing him with power stopped working. I wonder where they are. You are deeply sad, and yet, you persist in not wanting to acknowledge it. The situation here has been deteriorating for years, and no one has come up with solutions to your problems. You are on one of the highest points the Assumption Church was built against. This panorama has become an emblematic place for those who like to observe the flora and wildlife of the region. But our village is sick at heart. Here and there, some think that a curse has befallen our land. Well, these people were right. saint Exil is not just a village. This place has a soul. If you've lived here long enough, you've definitely felt it shining through its walls, trees, and cobblestones. At least you could feel it. Something. Wow, I finally got there. St. Exel Church. It's changed, and it has for too long. A dark and silent poison proliferates in the veins formed by our alleys, and ends up washing up at the foot of our doors, contaminating us a little more each day. Let's find what this church has in store for me. sure to enjoy today. This smell of dust and candles. No doubt I'm on the right track. This setup looks recent. They probably did it just before the attack. Okay, have some courage, Elise. Father Rualt. He distinguished himself in particular by his taste for religious, spiritual, and cultural texts. The large library of the Assumption Church is in his image. Cemetery. Shit. What are they doing here? I'm not sure I really want to know. and bell tower the angel and the new unknown artist this statue is incredible been revealed to me. I understand why the most basic things, like having babies, has been taken from us. Our divinity, that required so much sacrifice, is still not content. The village kids have had it easy for too long. They need to share our burden. It talks to me and asks to surrender them to its will. 
generations have forgotten how this village was built. It is time for a history lesson. We place statues to display each person we sent to see. In their anonymity, they remind us of the road still to be enjoyed. But be reassured, my devotees, this road is coming to an end. I found a way to communicate with our protector. It has chosen me as its vessel and talked to me so many times. I will finally be able to answer. A few of us were meeting secretly in preparation for our next and last action. It will all be revealed to you tonight after the festivities. Do not enter the crypt yet. I have the answers you have all been looking for. I will remove this poison from our life. This staging was prepared while the population, the population of St. Exo will be... I dare to imagine the trauma of people if they had been exposed to this. of struggling souls probably joined the devotees over time. A sheet is hidden under this pile of book. Father, I have heard noises coming from the... Isn't the crypt supposed to be unlocked only once a year? The door is locked up tight when I want to access it. Hmm. Interesting. This book traces the entire history of the church and the creation of this cross. I'll take it with me for my bedtime reading. This church seems to hide a lot of secrets from me. Annual High Mass is still maintained for, like previous years, the sect had chosen the right place and the right time to strike a blow. You feel. The De Vignol Mausoleum. This family was in charge of the local agriculture. The flower house was once their home, but it is now owned by the town. Tomb of the Duro family. The fishing activity was so important that the family built their house at the end of the Keys. They thus were the first informed of the contents of the merchant's cargoes in St. Axel. An envied position. St. Axel also has its little jokers who come to tag everything they find. Excellent. faster with but with these ghosts on the road, I really wouldn't be discreet. There are no bad moments to officialize a bond. Bulletin from the city of St. Exel. The town will start the repairs soon. Doesn't look like they had time. Planks removed. This should weaken this son of a brick.
Que no me It all started six years ago. At the time... I was still a student, and I spent the little free time I had at the bar with my group of friends. In fact, we always went to the same one. We were happy there. What we particularly liked were the concerts organized by the small amateur groups that came by from time to time. Nothing very extraordinary in itself, but the atmosphere they created was magical and went wonderfully with our little evenings based on the cheapest beers we could find. After all, we were still students. And then, there was this group. They had been coming for several days and their music kind of hypnotized me. The type of rock that you don't forget, and that I haven't forgotten. I must admit that the guitarist had something to do with it. His name was Pierre. There were always these moments after the concerts when the members of the group hung out a bit at the bar, but I didn't dare approach him, and I think he didn't either. The more it went, the more our eyes met, sought each other. I felt that something was happening. One evening, when the effects of the alcohol were strong, I no longer hesitated. I went to see him. From an outside perspective, it was probably embarrassing. At least I would have been. But that didn't seem to bother him. We talked for hours. But it seemed like it was over in an instant. I could see he was shy. And when we left the bar, I grabbed his arm and kissed him. We shouldn't have parted on a misunderstanding. I love this story. Our story. But that doesn't explain why we chose St. Exel to fully live our lives together, does it? At that time, Pierre and I were in our last year of college. We had already been able to take full advantage of the city and its agitation. And even if the years we spent there were fantastic, we really needed a change of scenery. A return to a calmer setting. Yep, that's what we needed. And it was when we were watching a report on a seaside region that we had to click. The landscapes were simply sublime. I always remembered what Pierre said to me at that time. Honey. Okay, let's move. We just had time to finish our studies and put some money aside when an advertisement for a house for rent in St. Exel caught our eye. This song? Pierre had written a song about all that. certainly not done with the place. It was really so horrific, but I managed to finish the book found in the church. There is a lot of information about this place and the village in general. It's sad, but it wasn't such a bad evening in comparison. If we go back many centuries, St. Exel experienced a much more sumptuous period. Originally, this village was only a small fishing hamlet by the sea, but it was located on the only road between two larger villages on the coast. It is with the cooperation of four great figures that the village developed and experienced its greatest activity, the Vinios, who ensured the agricultural activity of the village, the Deralt family, who were dedicated to fishing activities, the Duc de Bliard, who ensured the defense of the village with his soldiers, and finally, the Abbot Royo, in charge of the spirituality through its church. Thanks to the progress brought by this collaboration, St. Exel had been able to develop for a hundred years. But, sadly, during the following centuries, the village did not know the destiny that we imagined, and this prosperity turned into a distant memory. In remembrance of this period, which still rests- I have to go to this crypt. I feel that I am close to the grave. 
resonates until today. These personalities were honored with the presence of a tomb that are located in the narthex and in the transept of the church. They also built a cross at the end of the Assumption Church that is a receptacle for four plates, each illustrating one of the families. Once a year, these plaques are gathered and placed on the cross to allow the inhabitants of St. Exel to have a moment of commemoration for its history. its history and its ancestors. While I was crossing the church to reach the altar, I noticed light coming from an inaccessible room located just below. It's probably a kind of forbidden crypt, but then why would there be light inside? Considering the police are looking for cult members, this would be a perfect place for them to regroup in total secrecy. There's a procedure to follow to unlock the crypt's access, but it's going to be complicated. The door lock is linked to a mechanism inside the memorial cross. If I place four commemorative plates, the cross will unlock the door automatically. Well, supposedly, at least. Right now, only one of the four plates is inserted on this cross. The one honoring the Duc de Bliard. The others are scattered in various places in St. Exel. I have to go to the church to learn a little more about the other plates. They seem to be commemorating specific families whose tombs are inside the church itself. My investigation is turning into a treasure hunt. How great. The Assumption Memorial Cross. It was created in honor of the people who participated in the prosperity of St. Exel. Looking more closely at the cross, one has the impression that some parts can be interlocked on the sides. This key will allow me to explore the church a little more. I've seen the same kind of lock around. The church is hidden at the heart of the cross, and I can already access it. Solve this puzzle and win a coin to use in George's workshop. Never betrayed by our steeds. I only took a few riding lessons when I was little, so I'm going to have to disagree. Tomb of the Duke de Bliard. 
The white manor is one of the vestiges of this family. An ingenious system initially developed for its moats made it possible to send water to different parts of the village. Vegetable garden and scriptorium. for the ornithologist experimenting in our vegetable garden. We are happy to lend you a corner of the garden. Your birds seem to go completely crazy inside their cages. I've taken it upon myself to release them. Exponential growth experiment. Do not touch with your hands. Can induce dreamlike experiences. The ornithologist observed the behavior of the birds in contact with these weird rocks. A lot of activity probably took place here in the past, but it quickly became dismal once the monks had left. It must have taken a hell- I wonder if they spent more time chopping wood or reading. Woodcutter monks. Rurald commemorative plate. Let's find you a place back on that cross. It's locked. I can't open it. Thank you. 
storage room. Nothing. Hello, Francois. Glad the storage room is useful to someone here. P.S. Regarding the flower house garden door, the mayor gave me the handle they used to unlock it. I left it here. During the night from Saturday to Sunday, given the amount of the damage, they probably wanted to intimidate him. Or to keep him quiet. sundial. Despite its look, I'm sure people can still use it. But I have a watch. George's Museum, for the young and less young. Local museum, artisan workshop, exhibition hall. Exceptional summer event. Meet No-No the robot and take part in his treasure hunt. Pierre? needed to talk to you, so here I am. I know it's not a phone, and you're not on the other side, but I make do with what I have. Uh, the evenings are long without you, and I, I miss our discussions. I'm locked up because of the monsters, so I have to find something to take care of. You'll never believe me, but I've discovered a new passion, making bullets for my pistol. <laughs> It has become my comforting little evening ritual. And then I read newspapers or documents that I found. I try by all means to discover information that would allow me to understand what is happening here. When I can't sleep, I sort my tapes and listen to your songs again. This is by far my favorite time of the day. Well, it's already very late and I have a long day ahead of me tomorrow. I'm going to bed. Sweet dreams. remember our move to St. Exel. Nature was stunning and the smell of the sea gave me crazy energy. Everything seemed simpler then. Pierre absolutely insisted on bringing all his musical belongings to St. Exel. I remember it made me crazy, but he knew how to buy me with a few songs. Isn't that my house door? Well, at least a piece of it. It feels like a weird dream where all the memories are crashing incoherently in your head.
During our travels, we often underestimate the impact of the seasons on the mood of our faithful companions. Keep it in a sunny and temperate climate, and it will guide you on the right path. Plunge him in the snow and the cold, and to shorten his sufferings, his heart will betray you. going to have to make a choice. And if that's not too much to ask, the good one. Okay, we took the right path. I could question myself whether or not to make a decision, but that would just add one more on my plate. Too easy. I'm going to need something to break those. Completely locked. I'm going to need something to break those. I hope the content of this tape is as good as it looks. Mommy, I like it when you play hide and seek. Another of these damned four-legged beasts. I'm going to develop a phobia of horses. With me. So, I'm going to hide the key you are looking for somewhere nearby. And this time, I'm sure you will never find it. Close your eyes and count to 30. Up against the tree. <laughs> These floating things 
John likes those people. Okay, I am going to hide there. You can open your eyes now. Found it. But we both knew you had no chances against me. I'm gonna need you. I did it. Ah, <sighs> nothing beats the warmth of a fireplace. Our big house in St. Exel is so much harder to heat than our little city apartment. Where did you put the remote, Pierre? Where? <laughs> okay, that one is on me. Our TV is too old to have one. I'll get up and change the channel. Don't move! What other cleaning products give you a radiant whiteness like La Chien Nature? Somebody's gotta clean these plates, and it sure ain't me. It could be a very strange moment. Washing yourself out in the open like that? Thank you. 
I am a living experiment on sugar. Attends, mais qu'est-ce que tu fais là-haut Bah quoi, je vais tremper mes chips, ça Mais, t'as déjà goûté leur goût naturel inimitable Bah, non. Non Ouais, bah, tu, je vais tester, oh. Mmh. Oh, mais tu as raison. Il a pas besoin de sauce, ça. Nous, on a... All right. Pas besoin de sauce, parce qu'on craque nos chips, ça. Chips tos, la chips, naturellement. Behind all great puzzles lies an even greater myth. The flower house once belonged to the Vinio family, which played a leading role in local agriculture. The basement illustrating the former activities of the family can be visited during heritage days. An ingenious controllable water supply system of the White Manor made it possible to supply the property if necessary. Ran out of battery a long time ago. Makes this whole house seem stuck in time. Where, officer? It's not a break-in. The back door was open. Someone left a tape. Journaling is not just for grown-ups. Dad, science we are moving again. The electrician came to change the old digit code in the basement. Because you weren't there, he asked me for a code and I want to play a game. You never play with me, so now you will have to find the answer all by yourself. It's a four-digit code. The first is the hour on the living room clock, the one you never replace the batteries for. Then I put the minute. And then I put the number of food sales in the house. Have fun!
ran out of battery a long time ago. It makes this whole house seem stuck in time. The plate is right there, just in front of me. If the water level was higher, I could probably pass through. This is the boat I was looking for. You are near one of the entrances to the White Manor. This path is directly connected to its water system. The Duke de Bliard built its various accesses to defend St. Axel, ultimately never used. Over time, it ended up a piece of decoration. Did I ever tell you about the sea column? It's the only thing I like about this hell. If you could see them, you would love them too. These are huge columns of water that start from the sea and rise slowly towards the sky to infinity. Nothing. They exude a feeling of quiet strength. 
serene power. They carry with them rocks, which gravitate alongside them throughout their ascent. I don't know how to describe it, but I feel almost... calm looking at them. Completely locked. Still, I don't think we should be fooled by their placid appearance. Inside, thunder and flashes rage silently. Nothing. Reminding us that they are inhabited by a formidable energy. Moreover, they also emit strange and deaf noises, like a, like an animal cry or a, a complaint. Anyway, I'm not the only one to be fascinated by this show. In front of you is the moat system devised by the Duke de Leon. Through a rather elaborate logic, even if this system has some electrical assistance to facilitate its use, the operation of the system remains fairly basic. <sighs> I'm missing something to operate this. The hundreds. They fly around for hours, as if waiting for something. I'm always afraid they'll get caught, but the columns are gentle giants. One thing is certain. I will continue to admire them from the cliff. made their own wine? That's not very common. I wonder if it's good.
can see when I took a plane out of oxygen and the effort all in vain to stay carefully ox and free it's a Complicated, but we always knew you would end up in my hands. To be. So I sat warmly, close yet politely, made a lot of noise. Quietly, the clam fell down in me. The lever is pushed, but the bridge seems stuck and could do with a nudge. You like me, we should hang.
I know that Heritage Day is coming up soon. The manager of the Panier à Crabe restaurant, who is a friend, has a duplicate of the key. He must surely keep the key safe there. I'll let you see that with him, regardless. The artificial canal in front of you finds its source at the White Manor. The fresh water that came in abundantly made it easier to clean fishing products. As the winter cold can freeze the water, the city built a system to control how much water arrives here at the White Manor. Completely locked. Beauty, there is a cross at the church waiting for you. Back in the city, I knew a few trendies that would kill for this perfectly normal item. I should keep an eye on the time. Deep 
both knew you couldn't resist me. Good luck with this puzzle. Are you already rushing towards a solution which may not be correct? completely locked. forget to drink. were in the lighthouse too. They record signals coming from the sea. What were they trying to listen to? I recognize this computer. It's in the lighthouse too. Enter coordinates. What coordinates? These signals they receive. Are they talking? Is it even for us? What are you 
doing here? Is that a message for them? Are they using these antennas? It was a new beginning. We no longer had a penny in our pocket, but real hope in our eyes. Nobody knew us here. We were really starting from zero. We could have completely changed our ways of being if we had wanted. We had found the house that seemed perfect. At least perfect for us. It was a large building made entirely of wood and stones from the region, and which proudly faced the sea. We had so much space. We were finally able to breathe. And then there was a fireplace that gave such a warm atmosphere. It gave me a quiet yet powerful feeling of serenity since the first day. Well, up until what is happening at the moment. Although, we must admit that it deserves a little refurbishment. Or at least a little wiping. The paint has suffered the effects of salt and time, and the holy windows let the wind pass through the whole house. You can hardly see it, but we threw all our last savings into this hole. Anyway, Pierre was only thinking of one thing. Take as much space as possible to store his instruments. Whether it's the bedrooms, the living room, or even the attic. Today, the garden is in a sad state. It looks like a dump. I used a lot of things that were lying around for tinkering or training. I feel good in this garden. Especially right now. It's the only place I know I can be safe. None of these things are going to attack me here. With all the boxes we had, the laziness quickly caught up with us. This explains this feeling of permanent mess or perpetual moving. Life in boxes. Maybe we didn't really dare to open them all. Maybe it was too heavy after all these kilometers between us and people we love. It reminded us of too many things. All right! It reminds me even more today. All right.
I want a piece of paper with a joke. What's the worst that can happen when your job is to tie sausages together? Not being able to make ends meet. collected all the possible prizes from Nono. He couldn't resist me. this crypt is hiding from me. Crypt. of tombs and vaults. Everything was true. Badges and clothing stolen from Lacren. The devotees planned to strike a blow and take control of the lighthouse. At the same exact moment, people discovered their sordid staging in the church.
that if you are here with me tonight, it's because it has chosen you, too, my most devoted. We have been preparing for months. The direction of our destiny will finally shift. We've done everything the protector wanted us to do. We offered it the bodies of all those who wronged it. Even they still had some gas in the tank. They were not ready to stop any time soon. Through generations. I understand why the town stopped ordering these. Know what? I will help myself. Generously. Repaid it. <laughs> Their children's turn has come. Tomorrow, and that's a promise, we will finally be able to get in touch with it. Many people will stand in all- This music sheet must be important if she hid it here. It must allow access to- Yes. To complete such maps, she most likely found a high vantage point. But their efforts will be in vain. Once the village feast is over, when people will discover our messages in the church, we will infiltrate the lighthouse and take over the basement. We know that the Roch Elcel has equipment to send the message, and we will use it to contact our divinity. Patrick- you will block the front door of the lighthouse, so that no one can get out. Elen, you will help me in the basement. As for the others, you will take care of sending our new offerings. The information that you stole from the ornithologist at the top of the bell tower was decisive. He thought he understood the world by observing the air. <laughs> Without knowing that the truth was hiding at the bottom of our sea. These observations and the offerings we made from the beaches of Saint-Exil allowed me to know where the entity was waiting for us to contact it. Doubt may cross your minds this last night, but be reassured, all our spiritual pains are also our chances of redeeming ourselves. We have reached the point of no return. Tomorrow is our big day. Rest and meet me near the lighthouse at 11 a.m. If you're listening to this, you are probably the person sent by the office to continue my investigation. Well, at least I hope. My name is Matthew Banks, and I started this work about a year ago. As stated in my previous reports, I infiltrated the lighthouse last month, but they just found out that a tape was missing, and I think they're on to me now. Too many people have access to this damn bell tower. Since I'm the only one who knows about music, well, I'm going to need to learn the organ to continue upstairs. If I'm good enough, I'll make a duet with Pierre. Copy, uh, borrow uh, tapes during the night, but this time they noticed before I could bring them back. I didn't have time to use the new filtering machine, but I left the tape inside it. I hope it's safe there with you. Since I have to leave, I prepared the way for you, and I have regrouped all of my ongoing work onto three different boards, each including a guiding tape. The first one gathers my studies on the audio signal coming from the oceanic... The atmosphere is incredible. ...floor, which was the reason our interest was piqued by St. Exel in the first place. The second board will give you... Nothing. ...or details on the local cult, Who's that bell is but this one won't bring chocolate eggs for Easter anymore. Neighbors call themselves the do nothing. Voted. The third board is about Operation White Medusa, which is probably why you're here now. We are now definitely forced to recognize that the village of St. Exel is the center of great political and scientific interest. This ornithologist had the courage to go upstairs every time? Either you're committed, or you aren't. I really hope to find answers to my questions. As we first suspected. I hate to leave like this, but I'm afraid my time has come. During the last two weeks, the lighthouse had trouble acquiring new information from ashore. A apparently some kind of technology has been jamming their signal. No doubt. There was an ornithologist here. There's some kind of expert trying to hack the operation? I'll leave it to you to find out.
There are most likely no better places to study birds and nature. This chair is completely torn up. You spent a lot of time here, didn't you? Compilation of observations on nature and animals. This document is heavy. It will take me some time to study it. Please bring me some answers. I'm so tired. He also left me some kind of nautical maps. That's the sea depth of the village's surroundings. Pages seem to have been torn out of these documents. She must have found a place to send the signal and kept it to herself. I will probably be able to sort through the tapes the spy stole and find out if the lighthouse had any luck recording this thing underwater. With these maps, it will give me the right spot to send that signal. But I need to read through this all first. I will be able to fire more bullets with this new magazine. I like this new grip. A better hold means faster reload.
gone, it's safe to go down the ladder again. There's something written under that statue. Time often gives the best solution, probably written by someone with too much of it on his hands. completely locked. I'm gonna need you. Push it now. Now the system should be unlocked. Let's take a walk. Just you and me. Let's try to push it now. Now the system should be unlocked. You like me, we should hang. Push it now. The lever is pushed, but the blades need an initial push. Nature had changed a lot in St. Exel, but it seems even worse here. Those mushrooms are symptoms of something much more problematic. I have to hurry to find a solution.
feel like the earth surrounding the tombs has been turned over. All these rumors. No wonder it shows up in a place like this. Looks like the same boat used by the sect for their ceremonies, right next to the desecrated graves. I'm afraid to understand. I should keep an eye on the time. Then, was it then? found this box one morning in front of our house. It just had MB written on it. I went to the post office to check if it was an error, but they were not the ones who delivered it. I believe that even this world wants to send me a message. I have to fold my laundry before it's too late.
It's the same hatch as the one to go to my attic. But this one is not ready to move. Impossible to open. Opening this box didn't feel right. I can't remember why we did it. Pierre felt the same way about it. Pretty unconventional to receive a hazmat suit out of the blue. We left it in the attic, thinking its owner would show himself. But now I know why you didn't, Matthew Banks. Great. More music stuff from Pierre. He had so many cassettes here. At times, I wondered if he wanted to be mummified with the loose tapes. I should keep an eye on the time. weird. This is very weird, Pierre. I found some ultra-bright and colorful sphere in this village. When I approach it, I start feeling like I'm being transported to a totally surreal world, a blinding world, rather calm in which the water can go up the waterfalls, like these columns of water. Have you seen them too? Compared to the daily grind, it's a rather pleasant world to sink in. It feels quite cold though. In this dreamlike environment, I walk through Greek and Roman vestige, 
just like those we saw on our trips before moving to the coast. I have the feeling of being constantly exposed to things that we experienced in the past. It allows me to cling into many memories of our arrival in St. Exel and all the events that took place before I was left alone here. Strangely, I have the feeling that time no longer passes when I find myself in this alternate world. Am I imagining this? Am I starting to Let's listen to what the Rorqual cell recorded at the coordinates found by the ornithologist. I'm sure it's just a big fish. Gotcha. One location down. there too. It's validated. That should help me pinpoint the location. Let's use these maps on the projector now. I have all the points now. Let's try to make one of these maps fit. That's it! The first coordinate is when they approached the area and detected something with their instruments. Then, they circled around the ghost ship and sent out a probe which never returned. The last recording was when they decided to go deeper. And something went very wrong. Poor bastards. Let's send a signal over there and see what's under the sea. To the lighthouse.
documents I found at the top of the bell tower are incredible. It's clear now that the whole cult thing is based on the observations of a very stupid ornithologist. This person knew a lot about nature and how to monitor changes happening throughout the region. He made precise observations regarding birds' behavior and, apparently, the tide changed its rhythm? It became unregular and seems to get further and further from its synchronicity with the moon. Okay, I'm not going to use this towel right away. He also mentioned the fountain's water. Apparently it comes from a very deep source under the ground. He believes the water touches these blue rocks that are responsible for what's happening here. His theory is that something made these rocks resurface because of... a mining process happening under the sea? He installed something to stop the water in case it was dangerous for the population. No, probably broke it, and that's why it's back. I also found different maps regarding the sea depth at large of St. Axel. He was particularly interested by three wide cavities. I took the maps with me, but they are drawn on transparent material. I will need the projector in the basement to display them. Based on his observations, I believe he predicted the location of the water columns? Feels like he knew already that these columns would be there. Or maybe it's just the fact that the birds were attracted by that very spot early on. He had everything under his eyes. But the cult took everything and put it to bad use. And what for? Sending a message to a divinity with a lighthouse equipment? Maybe I could use that equipment too and send a signal to finally know what's hidden down there. If I use the encrypted tape the spy left to spot where the submarine has been in the ornithologist map's region, maybe I can pinpoint a location where to send the signal to? I need to check these tapes and see what I can find. We were really happy here in St. Exel. It did us a lot of good to make this new start. But there was something we couldn't have foreseen. The people around us seemed... disturbed. As if something in this village was brewing. A kind of grim emotion taking slowly over the population. And everyone said the same thing, whether at the bakery, in the street, or in the neighborhood. The village of St. Exel was clearly no longer the little corner of paradise it once was. We heard really odd things, like how the nature of the area had changed without anybody knowing why. Pets running away, wild animals leaving the region, or even new plants appearing where others disappeared. Even more worrying, some residents vanished into the thin air overnight, leaving no traces nor contact addresses. It makes me think of Matthew Banks, the spy who used to live in the house. But at least this one, I know why he's gone. Pierre and I started looking for information on what was happening in St. Exel. The least we can say is that we were not disappointed. According to reports from different hospitals, certain diseases seemed much more prevalent in St. Exel than anywhere else. I also was informed that the number of miscarriages among women in the village were abnormally high. It does not make you want to try to build a family here. Because of all these stories, many charlatans came to settle in St. Exel. According to them, the place would have unique properties, or things like that. In short, another way found by these degenerates to fill their pockets. And it worked. Well, that's what I thought. With what's happening to me right now, I'm almost going to believe them. Am I going nuts? In any case, it explains why the sect of the devoted was able to take root and develop here. Why haven't we moved out with Pierre again? Probably because we couldn't afford it anymore. Sometimes I think we should have just dumped everything and gone far, as far as possible.
We were playing games when suddenly a detonation echoed throughout the fair. Silence fell immediately and we exchanged worried looks in an endless second. It was at this moment that two fighter planes flew over the place. And there were no longer any doubts about the danger of the situation. It was the last day before the nightmare set in and it was all starting so well. They threw gas to confuse us. With Pierre, we managed to escape amongst the confusion, and we took refuge at our house. Everything else is hazy at this point. They came from everywhere at once to surround us. Some arrived in trucks, others came out of the woods. They surrounded us so that we had no chance of escaping. It was during the month of September. The weather was still warm and cloudless. It promised to be a beautiful day. I had gone to take out the trash when I saw this big cardboard box lying there in front of the house door. Above were inscribed in bold initials, M.B. At the time, I didn't know what those letters stood for. It wasn't until much later that I learned they meant Matthew Banks, the former tenant of the house. So I didn't ask myself any more questions and went to the post office. It must also be said that it wasn't the first time I had to return a package that didn't belong to me. But this- So, I have to send a signal to... something? To someplace unknown? Doesn't sound too scientific, Elise. Let's hope I don't end up like the submarine. This time it was different. When I handed the parcel to the secretary, she replied that she had never seen anything like it, and that she would not take care of it. When I got home, I couldn't help it. I opened the package. Maybe I shouldn't have. A surprise sure was waiting for me inside. This was a kind of scientific suit that was to be used to protect against chemicals and deadly viruses or that kind of ultra nice things. I was paralyzed, shocked. I wanted to understand. Why did the former tenant need this kind of outfit? For the garden? His work? 
But then what- Am I just doing the same shit the cult did? What kind of work was it? As soon as he got home, I showed the package to Pierre. He wasn't really comfortable with the idea of this sort of thing hanging in our house either. We relegated it to the attic. It's not as if the place for such an item was in the living room. We thought at the time, maybe Matthew will want to recover what belongs to him. Forty-two. It's the exact time of the attack. Did I fix it? I had gone to take out the trash when I saw this big cardboard... So I didn't ask my... ...seen anything like it. I opened the package. And deadly viruses or that kind of lieutenant need this kind of outfit package to Pierre he wasn't really comfortable with the time maybe Matthew will want to restore some kind of joy and positive atmosphere in the village the mayor and the villagers gave themselves hearts and souls to maintain the good performance of the festivals and the annual fair we like that kind of stuff with Pierre so we went and took a look. Obviously, we weren't the only ones to appreciate. Almost the whole village was there. And to add beauty to the heart, the weather had even joined the party. It was a beautiful day. Ideal for celebrating outdoors. We took advantage of this moment to discuss work and professional future at St. Axel. Still a little obscure for us. I was struggling to find a stable job in the area. 
and Pierre absolutely wanted me to pass this interview for a company that I had contacted. Despite the many discussions we had on the topic, we never managed to come to an agreement. There was therefore only one solution. The final decision will be picked during one of the fair ball games. It was our tightest match. And Pierre had to throw the last ball. My future was in his hands. But when it was time to shoot, a very violent, almost deafening noise rang in our ears. It was two fighter planes that were very close to St. Exel, and in particular, the place where the fair was being held. And then after that, nothing. Or more precisely, silence. Everyone had their eyes fixed on the sky. Several seconds after that, there was a muffled sound in the distance. An explosion? I saw concern and panic creeping into the faces of the inhabitants. It was not normal. The planes and now this? What was going on? The silence was again broken by many birds coming out of the trees. The fair was surrounded by a forest, and we couldn't have any idea what was going on there. Thick yellow smoke began to appear. A few tens of seconds later, it already occupied almost entirely the place of the party. Pierre and I were paralyzed, unable to move. I saw some of the people in the fair breathing in the gas and immediately collapsing as if dead. We could only see about 20 meters away, I would say. And among this hubbub, or rather this general panic, I distinguished sounds, voices, which were spoke through walkie-talkies. I couldn't understand, but I managed to hear a sentence. Only one. Grabbed them all, till the last one. At that time, I saw what seemed to me like dozens and dozens of soldiers coming out of the woods. They were everywhere. They were armed and wore suits that allowed them not to breathe the gas and probably see a little more clearly than us. In a burst of courage, or stupidity, Pierre and I fled as far as possible without looking back. We returned home, knowing that we were trapped. We locked the door, taking one last look at the gas that was already progressing down our street. We were probably not the only ones who managed to escape. It was clear that they weren't going to leave us alone. We then thought of the same thing. We climbed up their top speed and the box was still neatly stored, as if it was waiting for us. But we both knew on the way up, there was only one suit, only one mask. Pierre left me no choice, it was so fast. I told him he couldn't do that, I didn't want to. Nothing worked. He made me put on the suit and the mask. I had tears in my eyes, I think he did too. He turned, looked at the window and exclaimed, I see them. They arrive, and he took me in his arms and we stayed like that. I had the impression that it lasted for hours and just a few seconds. We felt the ground shaking, the furniture lying around vibrating. My eyes fell on Pierre again. He saw that I was terrified and I didn't want to let go of him. He looked at me and he smiled and he said, Stay with me. Suddenly a kind of white light pierced the room from side to side, revealing us. He looked at me for the last time and whispered, I love you, Felice. A few minutes later, I woke up at eight o'clock sharp in the morning. I was lying in my bed, the light, the gas, the soldiers, Pierre. Everything had disappeared. I went outside. I was alone, left completely apart in St. Axel. They're all back? Pierre! never be the same again. And I couldn't bear this alone anymore. Mm -hmm.